In this video, I'll share how I wireframe a home page. Before I start creating low fidelity wireframes in Adobe XD, I like to do sketching first. It's quicker and much easier for me to get out multiple ideas before I get too precious with the design. For these sketches, I'm using Procreate on an iPad Pro. Before you start wireframing on a computer, I challenge you to do at least 5 to 10 sketches first. These are the wireframes I sketched, showing different ideas and designs for the homepage. The next step is to take these rough sketches and create low fidelity wireframes in Adobe XD. A little background on this project. This is video three in a series where I redesign my portfolio website. So if you're curious to see the first two videos, I'll have them linked down below. The way that I wireframe in Adobe XD is to use simple shapes. This circle signifies a logo. The small rectangles at the top are meant to signify menu items. Larger rectangular boxes are meant to be larger headlines. When I use a darker gray, this signifies a background color. And for images, I use a lighter gray box and put an X through it. So it's easier to see that it's an image. I try not to be too precise with where I place the elements because again, this is just about getting ideas out and not a final design. The following wireframes are generated much more quickly because I start to copy and paste elements and just move them around to create a new layout. A lot of my wireframe solutions start off with large typography in that header section. It's pretty common for portfolio sites to have a large statement about whoever the portfolio is for, usually mentioning their name, their title, and something about what they do. I want to lean into this idea, but for a couple of my solutions, I actually wanted to make this more of a paragraph, kind of like a mini resume. I'm intending to include links as well. For example, if I'm mentioning a project, I'll link to a page that shows that portfolio project. I'm thinking I want to keep the design from my site really minimal and maybe not even include any of those menu items at the top. Maybe it's just a logo and then within that paragraph of text is how you will navigate to those other parts of the site. But I also explored other layout options that include multiple sections. Here are the final low fidelity wireframes side by side with the original sketch. This first wireframe is one of the shorter options, a headline section, and then links to two projects. This one leans more into that paragraph about section. The intention is for that section to fill the screen and then someone would scroll or press that arrow button to go down to the next section, which I'm envisioning would be a photo of me and more information about how to contact and get in touch and work with me. This one has a shorter headline section, but shows two larger photos, which could be portfolio work and then a call to action text below about getting in touch. This is more of a traditional homepage layout design, a header section, a grid of projects, and that CTA below the fold. For this wireframe, my intention is to include a large hand-lettered logo on the top of my name, and then sections below that could be, the first section could be an about section, and then maybe the second one links to one of my most recent projects, and then a call to action below. This is another more common homepage option, a large image header, and instead that headline section is below, followed by a grid of projects. This version is leaning into that bold about section on the top and then maybe a carousel of projects as well as the contact and CTA below. And the last one is a little bit more type heavy. It kind of splits up all of those about parts. So maybe that top line would be my name. The left could be companies I've worked for, the right 
a few projects that I'm really proud of. A call to action on a colored background and then two photos or projects below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Out of all of these wireframes, which one do you think I should pursue for my homepage design? Tell me why in the comment section below. If you want to see how I take these wireframes and transform them into design in Adobe XD, be sure to subscribe because I'll be sharing that next. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like.